who was like, this is not adding up. I have metastatic breast cancer. I have cancer in many, many, many bones of my body, including my skull, which kind of freaked me out. And I just had an all clear mammogram. Breast density just really refers to the amount of normal fibroglandular tissue that is in the breast. So most women start with a certain amount of breast density that decreases as they age, but some women will retain a high amount of fibroglandular tissue well into their screening mammography years. If the breasts are very dense, then it's harder to see the cancer amongst the normal, healthy, dense breast tissue. I had no idea that my breast density was masking the breast cancer that had been brewing in there for quite some time. They said maybe a decade. For many years, all we had to use for breast cancer imaging was mammography, which did a pretty good job at the time, but we knew it had limitations. In recent years, we for the first time really understood how much a mammogram misses, and it misses the most in dense breast tissue. So that's where we thought MBI could be particularly useful because dense tissue doesn't matter on an MBI. There was a study that was just published where they took women who had dense breast tissue and they looked at the additional benefit in this case of molecular breast imaging and indeed found just like MRI that can identify additional cancers that are missed by standard imaging. Just last year, there was a new FDA mandate that requires all centers who offer mammography to inform women about their breast density. If you could screen those women regularly with a better technique, you could basically eliminate those invasive or more advanced cancers that are being allowed to grow. So eventually, when you come in for screening, you're only gonna find the really small cancers that are much easier to treat.